everyone, it's Missy, and today I'm going to show you how to make um, some antique map wall art. I made this as a replacement for our missionary bulletin board at my church. I thought the bulletin board looked a little messy and tacky, and when it's in the front entryway, I wanted something to look nice and artful and creative, but still get the message across that, about the missionaries that we supported. And to do this, I found a picture on Pinterest of the finished product, and then I went out and I found my supplies. Um, I first started by finding the map, and I'll give you a link in the description box below of the items that I purchased online. But this map is an antique map that's two feet by three feet. And from there, I went and I purchased my stretched canvas. Now you can purchase any combination of stretched canvas, canvas that you want, as long as it fits into that two feet by three feet overall um, square or box. So what I came up with for mine is I purchased two packages of 8 by 10 inch stretch canvas, one um, 12 by 16, and one 11 by 14. And I purchased those at my local Walmart store. The other ones, I purchased one 8 by 8, four 4 by 4s, simply because they didn't have any more 8 by 8s, <laughs> and then two packages of 5 by 7s. And I purchased those online at Michael's. I also am using Mod Podge, that's the matte finish one. I have black acrylic paint, uh, and then for my painting supplies I just have a plastic paint pan that I have for painting. And then I purchased a package of mixed sponges. And then for my missionary part of it, I purchased this antique bronze finished curtain rod and some ring clips and those I purchased at my local family dollar store and then I found some nice um, for the finishing touch I found some nice scrapbooking paper um, this was the vintage treasures and I found that also at my local Walmart store so the first thing you want to do my map came and it was rolled up really tight so I tried to flatten it out and then you're gonna take your canvas and you're going to figure out how you want the design to lay out. So that's what I'm going to do next. So I got the plastic off my um, stretched canvas and I laid the pieces out on top of the map so they fit into kind of a decorative grid and this is two by three feet. It took a little while but um, it worked out and you can really move the pieces around. So if you see it's kind of like split into two sections with a line going down the middle. So I could put these two on top and push that down, or I can move these two to the bottom and push that up. Um, what I like to do is just keep everything on top of the map, and then I like to pull a piece off just to see what that square is going to look like. And my main concern was I didn't want to break up the continents too much. So on the bottom here, you can see I have Australia, and it would still be on one piece. And then on the top, this bigger piece would be Asia with a little bit of Africa. Africa does get a little cut up, which I'm not too happy about. So I might just flip flop and play around with these until I get it the way that I want. And then when you have everything laid out exactly how you want it, then we can start painting. So I finally figured out the design that I wanted and I drew a little diagram just for my reference because when after I paint these then I can take a yardstick and measure out the lines and cut the map and then I don't have to worry about tracing around the canvas and getting a little uneven at the end. Okay so now we're ready for painting and I have an old shower curtain that I'm putting on my workspace so I don't wreck the wood underneath and I took and I shook up my paint. Now I'm just gonna put some on my palette and then I'm just using one of the sponge brushes and all we're doing is we're painting around the edges of the canvas and the edges are gonna be showing when it's on the wall and to get this, you don't have to be absolutely perfect because you can overlap on the edge here. Uh, the map will cover that up. And as for the back part, 
um, it will be facing the wall. So, but just make sure that you get everything painted along all the edges, into the corners, into the nooks and crannies, and it should look just fine when it dries. So I'm going to do this with all the pieces, and hopefully they'll dry before the end of today. And then we'll be able to assemble the whole project together. I finished painting the edges of the canvas and I'm just letting them dry. And I am now ready to draw out the lines on my map and get that cut. Now I have to remember, I'm going to draw the lines on the back. And this is how I want it to look to the front. So when I turn it upside down, I have to flip flop everything. And to do that, I'm just going to quick draw another diagram so that way I know about what I'm going to do. And, um, ah, I'm not good at doing this. There, go like that. And, um, we'll get this all, there we go, all straightened out in my head. There we go. Now I think I got it right. I'll probably have to reference my original one just to make sure I do. But all I need to do now is just flip this over so the back is showing. And then I got my yardstick, so I'm going to make points along the edge. And um, if you see, what I'm going to do is I'm breaking this, I'm going to cut the map in half and just work with one section and then work with the other. That way I can make all my points on each side and cut so that way I can get a straight line and I'll set up the camera so you guys can see that. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing um, from where you're at and I, tr I apologize if I go in front of the camera lens um, between the camera lens and what I'm doing here. So the map is going to be facing me, which is important to know. I'm just getting it lined up so that way I can start making my first measurement. So I'm making my mark at the point where I'm just going to cut this in half. trying to get it as even as possible. There we go. And then match up the two points. scissors can begin cutting and this is to me is always the nerve-wracking part because <laughs> you want to make sure you did it right Just go slow, and you can make as many lines as you need to on the back of this thing, but just to keep measuring out and making sure it makes sense. There we go. 
So I'll continue to make my measurements and keep cutting out my pieces and then once my canvas is dried I'll show you how to decoupage them onto the canvas. The canvas is dried and I positioned my pieces over the canvas and reorganized them so they are in that puzzle piece collage uh, the way I want it to be. And the map is curling on me and that's why you can see the white on the canvas but that's okay we are going to now mod podge or glue the map to the canvas and it's actually a very simple process I just have my mod podge here and then I'm just gonna grab another sponge brush And I'm still going to try to work over the surface. I just had these laid out so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. Um, this would be like how I'm going to line it or display it on the wall. I think it's kind of a cool effect to be honest. I don't know how much it would have cost to have purchased this um, from a store like this as a piece of artwork. But I know making your own it's a lot cheaper and more economical. So... I'm going to try to move some of this over so I have some workspace and I'm just going to start with a small one. There we go, I'll start with the corner. Now I also noticed too, um, you kind of have to play around with it to make sure that it fits on the canvas. Not all the canvas is um, perfect. I didn't cut the pieces perfectly and not all the canvas is perfectly 4x4 four four in this case. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it so it sticks onto the canvas as best as it can. And then I'm just going to flip it over. Oh, this one's pretty good. But if there's any edges sticking out, I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and trim the edges. Um, just so that way we have a perfect, clean, clear um, piece for artwork. So I'm just going to set that off to the side. I'm going to shake up my Mod Podge so that way... It's all incorporated because it's sat a little while. There we go, that should do it. And sorry guys, I'm doing this one handed. I'm going to put you up on a stand. Okay, so I got my bottle of Maj Podge opened. And don't worry, I know it, um, it looks a little menacing to... It's just like a lot of glue, but... I just take my sponge and I just kind of act like it's paint and I'm just going to brush and don't worry if it gets on the edges so much it is going to dry clear. Um, I've done this before and I was worried a little bit because I'm a little bit sloppy but <laughs> it does dry clear. Alright, so I got my canvas covered. I'm just going to set my brush off to the side and then I am going to take and place my map piece, centering it as best as I can. And you can move it around a little bit while it's still wet. But as soon as I get it the way I want it, I'm just going to smooth out any bubbles or wrinkles. That looks good. And like I said, I'm going to let this dry. If there's any, oh, there is an overlapping edge a little bit on this one, so I'll take an X Acto knife and just all I do is I flip them over and I just run my knife right along the edge. So right along there, and then um, trim off the piece. And I'll do that with all the pieces, and once they have dried, I'll show you how to make the finish on top to make it look like real canvas art. I have all my pieces glued, and I have them all trimmed. And I just want to kind of show you, from the top, if you look straight at them, they look fine. But if I can get a side view, I'm going to take this one. Oh, maybe you won't be able to see it so well. Um, if you, there there we go. You can see all those little bubbles that I had in there. I had a very hard time getting them all flat. Um, but when you look at this kind of matte pattern and you look straight on, you see the variegation of color in the map and the print itself. 
so you don't notice the bubbles. <laughs> so I'm still pretty happy with it. Those bubbles are very hard to get out and they weren't too bad. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of little ones, but there's like no big one really that I've seen on any of them. So for the most part, I got them pretty good. Um, but now that we've had, we got this part done. We are, you can like finish now if you like this glossy look and you can hang them up. Um, like I said, all these are dry and everything so they could be hung up. But I'm going to do one more thing and that's add texture to the top. So it looks like it was actually printed on the canvas. And I really like this effect. I've done this many times. And a lot of people do think that, hey, it was printed on there. And so what I have is a piece of canvas that I've used over and over again. And you want to, I paint, so I know I can't paint on this one because it has glue on it. But we're going to take our Mod Podge and we're going to spread glue all over the top of this piece and over the top of the rest of them too. And then we're going to take that other piece and set it on top to create that texture look. So I already shook up my Mod Podge. So I'm just going to take my brush. And then we're going to spread this all over the top. And don't worry guys, I know a lot of people are like, what are you doing? It will dry clear. <laughs> it's, and I know it will dry clear because I did slap on some of the sides of these on the black and it dried clear. So it's going to be just fine. And I just want to make sure that every part of it is covered. The corners, all along the edges, every single part has this glue. And this also adds kind of another protection element to the map. Um, it kind of creates this nice seal. Um, so if you did happen, you know, to get um, water or something, this glue should protect it somewhat so the ink doesn't run on the map. So I'm just getting a nice coat. Hopefully it's not drying too fast on me. It's very dry in my house today, so my glue feels a little sticky. But And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to set it right over the top. I'm not going to push down too much. I'm going to just lightly finger touch it. I'm like barely touching it. And then I want to lift straight up. Up. Oh didn't work. Might have to press down on it a little bit more than I thought. Let's try this again. It's kind of hard when you I used to do like cardstock or photo paper and the map is such a thinner paper so we're gonna try this again. See if I can lift straight up. It's not gonna really stick I know. Ta-da! So, I know you can't really see in the camera too well, but you have this nice, um, I don't want to touch it, but it's like this nice texture. It looks like how the canvas looked before I did anything to it. It has like these little bumps, and now it will dry clear, and then you'll have this nice, you can, you'll be able to see this textured effect. Actually, it's drying pretty quickly as I'm looking at it. You just don't want to slide the canvas off because then you'll have the um, scrape marks and that's not what you want. Um, and if you mess up, don't worry, just take your brush and spread more Mod Podge on it and then start over again. And you can, as long as it's wet, you can keep working with it. As soon as it's dry, then it's done for. But I'm going to do this with the rest of the canvases and hopefully I can show you the end result. So here's the end result. Sorry, I could only take a picture of it because it was a work day at church, so you would hear a lot of banging around because they were painting some other rooms. But this is the map portion of the project. I know I told you guys that I had purchased some items for the missionary. The curtain rod is above it, but I am cut off the missionary information that's hanging from it. I basically made scrapbook pages that were 8x10 and just had their pictures and information of the missionaries that we served. 
And I'm also going to put a link in the bottom where I got this idea from because I believe she had the curtain rod with the missionary information showing in her picture. And that way you can give it, get an idea in case you want to do this project for your church missionary bulletin board as well. But I think it turned out great. Um, I did space out the map pieces just a little bit bigger because it was such a big white wall. I was trying to cover up as much space as possible. But I've had a lot of good comments on it from the rest of the congregation at our church that they said that this does look like a more decorative board than what we had before. It was also a nice fun project and I could see this in like a children's bedroom or in a study or a library in your home. It does add a little bit more appeal and I think it makes the map look a lot more fun than if you just had a frame two by three foot map. But like I said, I'll have all the links that below to the supplies that I used as well as the original um, post that I saw where I got this idea from. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching everyone. Bye!